Thank Lorenza, you. take me through this because I haven't really thought about this. We have some sense that this is going to help st domestic steel manufacturers. What does it do to iron ore producers? Are you up because, in fact, you're going to have more steel produced in the United States because of these tariffs? Oh, of course, more steel produced in the United States is a big positive for Cleveland Cliffs. This being said, we were up uh, before the impact of all these things. We uh, rely on a very robust demand, and the economy is doing well. Despite of tariffs, despite of all this trade conversation, the economy is doing very well. Well, that's good news. I don't want to argue with good news. Uh, at the same time, then why did we need these tariffs? Why are we needing to protect, to protect an industry if it was growing already? We don't need to protect. We need to level the playing field. Uh, China has been the, uh, a perpetrator of a lot of different actions in terms of uh, uh, making trade not a a level playing field throughout the entire world, particularly here in the United States. They're, we have been their playground for a long, long time. Time to finish this. Uh, Lorenzo, now that the tariffs have finally put into place, uh, we've already seen some early impacts. But earlier this week, markets were way down and steelmakers were taking a hit. Everything was taking a hit because of concerns that trade wars could occur and lead to a recession. How are you thinking of this? I mean, do you think people are maybe blowing this up a bit more? I think that there's a lot of over overreaction one way or in and another. Why? Because uh, at the end of the day, the trade war has been going on for a long, long time. We are now acknowledging the trading war. We have been producing fewer tons than the demand of the domestic market for a long, long time. Do you know how many countries in the developed world produce less tons of steel than they use only one, only the United States of America? But what about people who are, they hear that, but, but they're still worried about the knock-on effects, something outside of the steel world, if you're talking IP or anything else. I mean, what do you have to say to that reaction? There is no remedy without uh, collateral effects. We are now preparing to deal with the collateral effects. On the other hand, the United States is a manufacturing country. We will continue to be a manufacturing country. And by being a manufacturing country, we will have to produce its own steel to the amount and quality of the demand of the domestic market. That's how things exist in Japan, in South Korea, in Germany, in Italy, in the UK, should happen here as well. Uh, a lot of people, viewers, might understand already how impacts are on U.S. steelmakers. But you being the single iron ore producer, how have you already seen impacts for Cleveland Cliffs since the tariffs were implemented in March and then, of course, against trade allies in June? Well, the tariffs were not implemented against trade allies. The tariffs were implemented to protect the domestic market and to bring back the unfair cost advantage that these outsiders have when they sell in the United States. And the unfair advantage is actually threefold. It's one, the low salaries paid to the workers. Second, the worst of all, the pollution that they are creating to produce steel, that's more or less the same level of pollution that we used to have here in the United States 60, 70, 80 years ago. Mm -hmm. They produce steel with the same standards that we were using in this country before World War II. And the third one, to make things a lot worse, are the subsidies. So it's PSW. Uh, well, how much do Pollu you sell? I'm sorry, oh, Alex. Go ahead. Pollution, salaries, low salaries, and uh, uh, subsidies. Uh, turning to the uh, tariffs that were announced yesterday from Canada, uh, how much do you sell into Canada? We, we sell a, a lot of iron ore into Canada, so a lot of iron ore pellets. Uh, we, uh, the steel makers in the Great Lakes at the other side of the border, they buy from Cleveland Cliffs. So are you going to see an impact from that? I don't know. Are you I worried about it? I'm not. I'm not. Because if the steel is not produced in Canada, it will be produced at this side of the Great Lakes. But you're selling The American Canada. steel mills will produce more and we will sell the pellets to the American steel mills. So I'm completely transparent about that, completely neutral. And I, I feel like uh, we need to have the same type of rules. Otherwise, they will use Canada as a, a transshipment playground and we will still be hit through Canada.